In this video, we will discuss identifying geometric patterns. Look at the image below. You'll notice that we have five different figures. Take a moment to think about any patterns that you can recognize. If we number each figure, beginning with one, you may recognize different patterns. One pattern you might notice, if we think of the patterns in, in terms of their length and width, you'll notice that the first figure has a length of one and a width of one. The same can be said for the second figure, except in this case, the second figure has a width of 2 and a length of 2, or a length of 2 and a width of 2. And you'll notice that this pattern will continue on, going 3 by 3, 4 by 4, and finally 5 by 5. That's just one example of a pattern that you may see. Others might notice that if we count the number of squares there may be a pattern as well. So let's take a look at figure one. Since there's one square we could count a tally above and say there's one. In figure two you'll notice there are three squares filled in. In figure three one, two, three, four, five squares filled in, followed by seven and nine. And if you take a moment to think about this, you'll see that each time the number of squares goes up by two. So that's another example of a pattern that we might see. One way we can share our thoughts or explain our pattern would be through a sentence. An example of a sentence that we can use to describe the second pattern where we count the number of squares would be as follows. The sentence I chose to use was as the figure number increases by one, the number of squares increases by two. So you'll see that there is a relationship and we have described the relationship by first looking at the figure number and then discussing what happens to the total number of squares. In this next case, I've taken the same image except I'd like you to think about the area in this particular situation. Take a moment and pause the video to think about the pattern that you may see as the figure number increases by one. Now although there are more than one pattern that you may see, one pattern could be counting the number of boxes total or squares total once again and in this case let's take a look at the pattern we see here there's a total of one a total of four a total of nine then a total of sixteen you may notice there's a pattern here and finally if we count up all the boxes in the fifth we have a pattern or a total of twenty five and some people may recognize that 5 squared is 25. The same could be said about 4 squared, 3 squared, 2 squared, and even 1 squared. 
which explains when why we talk about area how we talk or we speak of area in square units. A sentence to explain the pattern you see might be that as the figure number goes up by one, the number of squares is equal to the figure number squared. As the figure number increases by one, the total number of squares is equal to the figure number squared.